These are incredibly vast places. You know, Seventy percent of Earth's surface is covered by the ocean, and it's it's basically impossible without satellites um, to actually monitor what's happening out there. Um, so by using satellites, by using drones, by, by taking really interesting uh, drone footage and underwater footage, infrared images, infrared videos, all these different data streams, and then integrating them through an Earth system's perspective, I, I hope to elevate individuals valuing both of the ocean and, and of whales. So that, that's one of the main, main things that I hope people t take away from my research. We can now predict when and where whales will be located. So the, the patterns that we see in the reproducibility over decades of, of data collection, that gives us a predictive model. So we can more or less say, with reasonable probability, these humpback whales will be in this part of the ocean at this time of the year. That's incredibly useful for conservation, you know, identifying areas to protect. Um, it's also um, useful for just sustainable ocean science. Uh, with respect to climate change, if the whales continue to keep going to the same places, but those places change due to environmental change or climate change, those habitats, those places that the whales are migrating to, may not be able to serve the whales' needs anymore. The potential here is that the climate change, combined with the fidelity that the whales show to these particular corridors, um, that might actually hurt the whale populations. They might go to places that don't work anymore. So we have an obligation, humans have an obligation to actually help those whales recover because we are the ones that killed them in the past. We are the ones that actually decimated their populations and took them to the brink of extinction. For one reason or another, Pikea, breeding stock F, Polynesian humpbacks, they haven't recovered nearly as quickly. Uh, full recovery is projected to occur somewhere around 2040 or 2050. But the ocean itself is also changing really quickly. And whether or not this population recovers is very much a, a question mark. So everything we do, the goal of all of the different research we do on humpback whales is, is to help the population recover. It's a, a conservation um, purpose to, to what inspires us all to do this research. Of course, there, there are many other things that, that are beneficial along the way. You know, one of the things that we're working on right now is solving this 3,000 year old uh, mystery of how animals navigate. So our research on humpback whales is shedding some really uh, important light on that ancient riddle. So that, that's an important um, outcome. One of the biggest things that I hope my, my students and, and my, my colleagues take away from my work on humpback whales is a greater appreciation not only for whales but for the ocean. It's relatively easy to allow the ocean and certainly whales to kind of be out of sight, out of mind. Every now and then you, you come across a, a picture, you go for a walk on the beach and, and you value it when you're in those moments. But um, what I hope is that through my research I can elevate um, the human valuing of our ocean environments and the whales and other animals that live in those ocean environments. <laughs>